folks, uh, here we are. I'm not getting a lot done. I've been kind of slack the last few days on getting my button gear, but uh, made some plates here. And as you can see, we got four of them. We're going to split them, and then we're going to cut some pieces off this end for gussets, and we're going to use these for body mounts. So hopefully I can get them on today. I want to show you a truck I picked up. Okay, folks, got this one in the other day and uh, gotten quite a few wrecks, but this is just happens to be one that I am actually going to be stuck with keeping. Uh, folks brought me the title for it. It rolled over. But... On power steering fluid. Uh, a good 318 engine, and uh, I think this one's 318. Yeah, 52 liter 318, four wheel drive, pretty clean. It's not all oily. I don't know how many miles on it. I guess I could check that. But uh, this would be a nice one to pull the body off of. Set another, set an old school body on it. Let me see. She probably looks like she's high. A lot of miles. Three hundred and thirty-four thousand. Woo! Can you believe that? It must not have issues with oil leaks. This is awful dry to be that many miles. Anyway, runs good. So we'll figure out what we're gonna do on this one. You know, a lot of a lot of times I don't end up with the titles, and it's a big aggravation to get rid of some of this stuff. But luckily, they brought the title on this one. It's one of them what we call yard sale uh, cars that roll over that had a lot of stuff in them, and it just slings them everywhere, and you got to spend you know an hour picking stuff up. That's what we call a yard sale. As you can see, this thing slid down the highway a little way. Anyway, all right. Okay, folks, we're playing around here with body mounts. I really want to tie this together, sort of like a cross member. But if I do this, I'm going to go ahead and put it in, weld it in, and get it, get the mounts on it. But then I'll have to come in here and build a piece that horseshoes. Well, it wouldn't even need the horseshoe. As a matter of fact just needs to have a bolt in piece in the center so I can unbolt it because transmission if it needs to ever come out it needs to come out from the top so we'll have to make this a bolt together cross member in the body so that'd be easy no problem do that and the goal for the day is to get these mounts on you know I cut the gussets cut the brackets but I want to get the body mounts on the front and back here four mounts and then I want to build I'm going to build two plates to go on each side. They're going to run down the A pillar all the way down and then run on the floor and then run up this little angled floorboard piece and then come back up and tie all this together. And the reason I'm going to do that is to strengthen it all up and none of this will be accessible so I'll spray all this with that rust neutralizer that I've got before I weld it but we'll put I'm gonna put the plate on there permanent because I I've got to get this strengthened up so I can get my doors set where I want them and get everything strengthened up there and uh, you know the way it is now it's just so everything's so weak we got to get some new structure in it so we're gonna do that and keep working on these mounts Try to get something finished up here. Um, sort of in a slump, you know, you get to these points to where there's sort of an aggravation on trying to figure out something. So you sort of put off doing it and then you don't really get much done. And once you finally get on it and get past that particular job, then everything always ends up getting a lot easier. So we're just trying to get past that particular job right now. So once I get past these body mounts, which have been nothing but an aggravation, and they're always going to be an aggravation because you're trying to mount body mounts to something that's not there. So, but anyway, we've uh, we'll get this figured out, and then we'll we'll be back on track 
to uh, getting something you know completed and something done okay so I decided I wanted to move the mounts farther forward so I done a little cutting and chopping and figuring and we'll make me a cross member out of this piece and hopefully when I'm done this is all going to work out right so we're going to fire the plasma cutter up and see if we can get some cutting done on that and then we'll cap it off well I don't know we can't really cap it off because we've got to bolt it down so I don't think it'll matter anyway but so yeah we're only this is only floorboard stuff so anyway let's get this together and try to get something bolted together okay I cut it out I cut it out with the torch I haven't ground anything yet but I went ahead and bolted it to my pieces for my cross member and I think it's going to sit right around in there but I'm going to mark the ends and cut them so it'll sit where I want it to sit and then I'm checking stuff out here and once I get that done uh, we're going to we're going to do a little chopping on the on the pieces that are already here because I'm going to go let me see, I'm going to join that one all the way back into that one inch one inch is heavier than this so I'm going to actually cut down in and let it drop down inside that'll bring us down a little bit we're still going to be a little bit high but you know it really don't matter you know it's just floorboard and it's just up that way so don't matter too much back this way uh, especially the way we're doing this one we're going to have a lot more room in it, so I believe we are anyway. So that's the plan. Let me uh, see what I can do here. Okay, folks, I've got a rear cross member in. I just used a three inch channel and have it, the mount tacked in and bolted. And so we got two mounts there, two here, and then two on the front. And I probably, I think I'm going to change this out. I didn't grind it yet because I was wanting to you know look at it before <laughs> it's up higher than I want so instead of using a piece of four inch I'll use a piece of probably just two inch and make another one and just make it hump over and get it down closer to the uh, transmission I think it'll work out a lot better so now made some patterns and I'm working on the steel inside of here and this is going to support us to get us where we can actually start doing some door adjustment and stuff without the cow flexing or anything moving I've got the other one just sitting up in there so I'm just trying to fit them in first and then I'll come back I'm going to paint inside there with the uh, that I've got the what I've got is Loctite rust inhibitor it changes it to black and we'll put it in there and see how that does and then uh, get these tacked in welded in and uh, hopefully I can start maybe trying to adjust the doors and get them lined up decent where they open and close decent right now they're they're just not not jiving because this cow is just flexing so much here but uh so that's the main thing is to get it welded up together here and we'll uh we'll keep moving along on it okay folks got the panels in uh got them tacked in place a lot more welding to do we got some thin spots really thin stuff on that metal but I turn the welder down and I'll get all that. Weld it to the gas tank uh, and I'm gonna weld it, you know, around farther. Gas tank don't have a plug in the bottom and it's been top been off. There's no gas in it and no smell or anything so for years. So then we're gonna work out really well. And uh, let me see, doors are where they open and close. It's only a little work, but I don't wanna do I don't want to complete it until I get, you know, get everything tied in good and tight because it'd be just a waste of time. Now I did bolt the manifold on temporarily, two bolts. I couldn't help myself. Just want to see how it would look with the carburetors like that, and it looks really well. I like it uh, much better with them straight like that. So we're, like I said, still waiting on the other manifold. It should be here this week, and we'll be able to uh, get the manifold finished up. I've also got gaskets coming. So we can uh, hopefully get this engine out, get it painted, and get get the manifold on permanent. Uh, get the steering box mounted. I've got to find a pitman arm for it. Uh, I'm hoping one of these other ones will fit it. I don't know what happened to the one that was on it. You know, I was working on two different or the other car, and I had two of them boxes. So it's around. I just got to find it. Well, that sure looks good with them two carbs on. 
Mm, I like it. Sure do. All right, I think I'm gonna call it quits. I'm gonna take my 31 coupe, the Cadillac powered car down the road real quick and come back tomorrow. We'll jump back on this, but we're gonna remake that centerpiece. It's about two inches off the transmission and I just wanna make sure it get a little closer. But uh, that's why I didn't grind it all and everything because I, I wanted to make sure it was what I wanted. And it's not, so that's why. All right, so uh, still don't have any rear suspension. Hadn't figured out what we're gonna do on that yet. But we can continue to do what we're doing here. Uh, work on steering and uh, just keep getting a little stuff together here it's not gonna be long I'll be cutting these off and building the windshield posts and working on the doors but Nana what you doing babe so anyway she's looking for some treats I'm sure so I'm liking it. Uh, the blow-by tube, road draft tube, whatever you want to call it. Runs all the way down and all the way back. So we're going to get it cleaned up so we can put it back on, paint it and stuff. And, uh, and I'm sure we'll end up with some flat black or something on that, that cheap chrome on that uh, fan. So everything else is going good. We're getting the doors adjusted. Uh, where they'll open and close, this one's actually the latch is working. It's just not a the latch ain't in the right spot, so it's just coming out and hitting, but we got to do the door jam on this side yet. A lot of little stuff. Uh, just loads of it, so we got to get the rolling on it. Uh, kind of got, kind of got thrown off because of, of cab mounts and body mounts. You know, I was having some issues on how I wanted to do them, so we've got them done now, so we're past that. So we're going to keep moving on and uh, get some stuff done. All right, appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye.